So next up, podcast listeners, we have the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up, Mr. Producer? Here it is. And it is the dumbest bill in America. And it is gender neutral stores in California. That's right. Gender neutral stores in California. So good old Assemblyman Evan Lowe is back. Evan Lowe is the sponsor of this bill. And the reason why we're bringing this bill back to Mark and the Millennials, because we've talked about this before, is because the bill is actually advanced in the California Assembly and the State Senate. And it has only one more hurdle before it goes to govern Governor Gavin Newsom's desk. So what is a gender neutral store in California? Well, looks like this might actually happen. I can't believe the California Assembly and the State Senate are dumb enough to pass such a bill. Well, here's KPIX San Francisco reporting on what this bill does. We have that clip and here it is. Assemblyman Evan Lowe introduced a bill that would require stores with more than 500 employees like a Target, Macy's, or Marshall's to display children's clothing and toys in one undivided area of its sales floor, whether or not those items had traditionally been marketed either for girls or for boys. Stores that didn't comply would face fines up to $1,000. Yes, so stores that did not comply with this would actually be faced with fines of $1,000. So you have to have at least one aisle in your store that has gender neutral products. Um, that is to say, either they're gender neutral or the blue stuff and the pink stuff have to be interspersed in that aisle. Because after all, you're not allowed to have boys and girls. You are allowed to have all different kinds of genders in California, including at birth and including with children who are toddlers and also in kindergarten and first and second grade. Because that's what Democrats are all about. They're all about grabbing into your personal household and telling you that those children don't belong to you. They belong to they belong to the Democrat Party because they are good little Democrat Nazi soldiers. I mean, that's what it kind of sounds like. I mean, maybe Stalinist soldiers. Just really frightening. I mean, these are not your children. Well, Evan Lowe, the bill sponsor, he's tried to put this bill in. I think this is the third time in California, which is why we're talking about it again. So... In California, he's put this bill in three times, and maybe the third time's a charm where it gets through. It looks like it is advancing this time. So in Evan Lowe's own words, podcast listener, here's Evan Lowe, the bill sponsor, to tell you about why the bill is so important. Here's the clip. And rather than just having a separate boys or girls section, let's just have a kids section. And that's what the conversation is about. Let's ensure that we remove the type of stigma the type of bullying that we see, especially in today's day and age. So I want to get this straight. So when you go into a store and you go to the toy section and you see a bunch of toys that normally I would think boys would be interested in, you know, like little pickup trucks and, you know, uh, uh, a baseball bat or, or what else, Chris? I mean, you know, um, monster trucks, uh, just, I don't know, just uh, maybe guns, you know, toy guns, if they if they're probably aren't even allowed to sell that in California at this point. Well, he calls that bullying. So Lowe calls that bullying. Why is that bullying? It's a store just trying to sell stuff. How are you bullying people? So in the AP, it states California seeks gender neutral displays in large stores. Sacramento, California. Associated Press, California could soon force large department stores to display some child products in gender neutral ways after the state legislature passed a bill on Wednesday aimed at getting rid of traditional pink and blue marketing schemes for items like toys and toothbrushes. <laughs> the bill would not, out, would not outlaw traditional boys and girls sections in department stores, but would require retailers to have a gender neutral section to display a reasonable selection of items, regardless of whether they have been traditionally marketed for either girls or for boys. The bill would also apply to department stores with 500 or more employees, so most small businesses would be exempt. It also wouldn't apply to clothes, just toys, and childcare items, which include hygiene and teething products. <laughs> The state Senate passed the bill Wednesday, sending it back to the assembly for a procedural vote before it heads to Governor Na Gavin Newsom's desk. 
If it becomes law, California would become the first state to require these sections in stores, according to the office of Assemblyman Evan Lowe, the bill's author, whom you just heard. This is at least the third time in California lawmakers have tried to pass this bill, with previous versions failing to pass in 2019 and 2020, as we've talked about before. But it's 2021 now. Lowe, a Democrat from Campbell, said the measure was inspired by a 10-year-old girl named Britain, whose mother works in his legislative office. I have to read this again. Lowe, the assemblyman, who is the sponsor of the bill and a Democrat from Campbell, California, said the measure was inspired by a 10-year-old girl named Britain, whose mother works in his legislative office. Quote, Britain asked her mom while shopping why certain things in a store were off limits to her because she was a girl, but would be fine if she was a boy, end quote, Lowe said. Quote, thankfully, my colleagues recognized the pure intentions of this bill and the need to let kids be kids. <laughs> so, oh, it's so this is Lowe. He's saying that Britain is the daughter of, of the mother who works in his legislative office. So he put the bill in for a kid, okay? And according to the mom, Britain asked her when she was shopping with her while why it was that certain products in the store or certain things were off limits because she was a girl. That's not true. I mean, I want to get this straight. When you're walking in a store with your son and you've got a shopping cart, And you walk past the girl's aisle, you mean suddenly a chain link fence rises up from the floor and stops you from going down the aisle and looking there and buying things? I mean, it's ridiculous. And it's also equally ridiculous and hard to believe that this is actually a real story because I'm sure it's not a real story that Britain told her mom this. This is nothing more than Assemblyman Kim probably reaching back at his own childhood And being very angry at the fact that what he really wanted was that pink dial, that pink Barbie doll, excuse me, in the aisle. And mom and dad probably wouldn't buy it for him. And guess what? Those are his parents. They get to decide that. But he's probably mad he didn't get the Barbie doll, you know? I'm not sure what Barbie he wanted. I mean, I have two daughters. I remember all the Barbies that they had. Um, One one Barbie, one Barbie doll. Uh, was one of the favorites of my daughter and the other daughter, you know, sometimes would play with them and try to take them and they would argue over them and all that stuff. Well, apparently Evan Lowe, the assemblyman, he's really upset. He didn't get to play with Barbie. So he's going to pass this bill to make sure that you're forced to buy them. No, you're not. You're not forced to buy them. You're not forced to walk down the aisle. And you're not also stopped from walking down the aisle that you want to walk down. Some large retailers are already rethinking how they display their products. Target Corp with 1,914 stores across the United States announced in 2015 it would stop using gender-based signs in its stores. (laughs) In other words, boys, girls, right? So now it's like they, their, what are some of the other gender names? I've forgotten. Like there's so many of them now. They, their, um, he, her, uh, Z, yeah, Z, Zier, I don't know. Uh, Millennials always get really intimidated by this conversation because it's like these days you got to put you have to put your your gender at the end of an email you know uh or your preferred pronoun quote unlike the author i actually have oh here we go the california retailers association you're gonna love this podcast listeners the california retail association declined to comment on the bill wednesday formal opposition has come from a number of conservative groups state senator melissa melendez a republican from lake elsinore voted against the bill saying she would recommend we let parents be parents. Quote, and you would have loved what she said. Unlike the author of the bill, I actually have children, five of them to be exact. And I can tell you it is very convenient for parents, she said. I don't think parents need the government to step in and tell them how they should shop for their children. End quote. Pretty straightforward. So, I mean, she just got to rip Evan Lowe. It's like, this guy is a single guy with maybe he's married. I don't know. But the point is he has no children. He has no children. And he's trying to tell the parents 
with children. Isn't it incredible how the childless in the Democrat Party, which seems to be more the rule than the exception, certainly of the elected officials, try to tell you how to raise your children? <laughs> it's like, I have an idea. You want to have an opportunity to raise children? Why don't you just have them? Then you can raise your children. So Senator Scott Weiner, a Democrat from San Francisco, said that while both he and Evan Lowe are childless gay men, he defended their right to have opinions about children and families. <laughs> this, is, this is just too good. So you got two gay guys from the greater San Francisco area that are childless gay men, but they want to tell you how to raise your children. Quote, we know what it was like to grow up not conforming to the way that your gender is supposed to be, he said, adding, this is about making safe spaces for all children in today's society and not pushing some, sometimes forcing children to conform. <laughs> Jeez. While the law will require large department stores to comply, penalties for not doing so would be light. Ugh, just the fact that there are penalties at all. Starting in 2024, prosecutors could seek fines up to $250 for first offenses and up to $500 for second offenses. Those would be civil, not criminal penalties. Stores could also end up having to pay for reasonable attorney's fees and costs. So in other words, the stores that don't comply with this law are going to be hit with $500 fines again and again and again and again because of the fact that two gay guys want to tell you how to run your store and what you can put in and out of your aisles. It's just ridiculous. So we have another clip for this bill, and it's also from KPIX San Francisco. They're reporting. And they're reporting on opposing viewpoints to the bill. Here are the two opposing viewpoints of people they just, I guess, talk to in the street, kind of, sort of. We have that clip, and here it is. You have the opportunity to walk to wherever you want to. Um, you know, just because it has a male and female designation doesn't mean that you can't walk to, you know, a, a, a male toy and vice versa. I think it's a wonderful idea to smush um, girl boys stuff together. Gabriel Lentolovich is the president of the board of the Billy DeFrank Center. She says a single gender neutral section for children's clothing and toys will help kids freely and without fear express who they are. The children will be saying, why can't I have that? And it's not in the category that the parents think it should be. Yeah, they still can, by the way. The children can still say that to the parents. They can watch it on TV as it's advertised or online because their kids are always online and see something, some ad pop up about some toy and say to their mom and dad, I want that. And the parents can get it online or so forth. Just ridiculous. And I hope I hope podcast listeners, you see that the reason we do this segment in Marketing the Millennials about the dumbest bill in America is because we have these idiot politicians, by the way, on both sides of the aisle, many of them, not all, but many of them, but primarily it seems on the Democrat side, who believe that the way you are defined as an elected official is by how much stupid legislation you can pass so they can go home and say, guess what? I passed 20 bills this session. And, you know, they're not going to tell you exactly how ridiculously intrusive the bills were into your personal life. And that's the problem. We have too many laws, too many laws that intersect your personal life, involve themselves in your personal life and the way you want to raise your children, just like this one, the gender neutral stores in California. And that's why we do this segment. And that is the dumbest bill in America.